Hey everyone, my name is Irina. Welcome back to my channel Russian Reaction and Reviews. Today's video, guys, calls 50 hours in the country that doesn't exist on the map. I'm making this video already after I shared this with a Patreon first, so and right now I'm super excited to share this with you because this is an amazing video. It's I don't know, I never thought I'm gonna smile for like 25 minutes just like to have a smile, to keep smile on my face for this long time because this is something incredible and I want all of you just like watch it but first of all if you wanna have like early releases like my Patreon please subscribe my Patreon and see my Instagram also okay let's go Russia? It's a country which doesn't exist? Okay. It must be like the final outpost of the USSR. And there's enormous statues of Lenin and tanks and memorials and the amount of Soviet pride is bonkers, dude. Bonkers. Okay. There are a few hidden parts of the world it's that kind most of, clean. of us will be clean. shocked exist today. And when I heard about the region we're about to travel to, <laughs> I couldn't believe what I was hearing. Well, Transnistria is an uncontrolled region of Moldova. Hidden behind a highly militarized border, this region is, in fact, a country that doesn't exist. But this isn't a made-up micronation like we've covered in the past. This place has a population of close to half a million people. They've built their own I mean, army, like, have their own flag, their own president, currency, and even national anthem. They call oh, wow. themselves the Prinasdrovian Moldavian Republic, Prinasdrovian. also known by outsiders I never heard about it, never. The country was founded in very shady circumstances. But the strangest part about this fake country is that fake they consider country. themselves the final stronghold of the Soviet Union. Transnistria, mm. a small strip of land between Moldova and Ukraine, has been disputed territory since the fall of the Soviet Union. It declared itself as a Soviet Republic in 1990. The symbols of the old Soviet Union still have pride of place. But nobody okay. other than a few other unrecognized countries recognizes it as an actual independent country. And so, oh, what is man. Transnistria? And yeah, exactly. who still lives in this strange little country? Well, that's with interesting information online about the safety of traveling to this region. We began our journey to the country that doesn't exist on a map. Where are the guys from? I know nothing like they speak in English without the accent. Paris! Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, Derry is back, and we have been filming a lot the past several weeks, and we are super excited to finally share with you. I'm now in the most nowhere airport that Paris has got, and I'm on my way to a country that doesn't exist. Okay. The okay, past few weeks they we've have been filming nonstop. And even though Amar could once again not join me on this trip because of his passport problems, those issues are soon coming to an end, which we have a huge update about in the coming weeks. So I decided to still bring a friend you might be familiar with by now. What's up, dude? The guy that checked our passports just subscribed to the channel. Aww. Really? Yeah, he was like, what are you doing here? Why are you going to Transnistria? And I explained everything and then he subscribed. <laughs> Even though That's Eric so cool. is American, he grew up most of his childhood in Russia, speaking fluent Aww. Russian. And this trip will be his first one back into a Russian-speaking country since he left at 15. To get there, Aww. however, we first had to find a cab that could drive us across That's so cool. fake border. Can he cross over the border? Yeah, he said he can. Okay. Okay, they have airport in Moldova, right? Oh, I said to a lot of people go there, and he's like, no, people only live. <laughs> only live. Crossing the border, okay. You just have to show like some passport. Uh, so it's technically not a border, but they believe it's a border. Ah, so he's saying because like the country doesn't exist, you can money can appear there and then it can disappear. So it's like you can do like yeah. sketchy stuff with money. So oh, it's like a laundry man, like laundering. Money laundering, it's a good over there. <laughs> Welcome. Now you to know. Transnistria. It's just the fact that it's a fake country makes it insanely strange and different. So I guess we're gonna go explore and try to figure out if we can get an idea of what this place really is. <laughs> what is that? It looks so clean to me. 
These are water. The Soviet water and drink oh. dispensers. Only other time I've seen these were abandoned inside Chernobyl. Half the city feels frozen in time in the Soviet Union. I mean, look at this car. The what even brand is this? And there's Lada. military everywhere. Like, I've never seen so many individual military officers just walking around, like, all over the place. It's really confusing. Like, some things here look ancient. Some of the signs and others look like they were just built. It's so strange. <laughs> you take a couple of steps off the main street and then buildings look like they're completely falling apart. It doesn't look destroyed. It, like, is destroyed. <laughs> That's <laughs> okay. This is a street? Yeah. That's a toilet. Look at that. Oh. Oh, there's a guy right there. Hello. Как туалет нормальный? Shit. It's so weird. There's like uh, on the main street it all looks new and then you take one step off and like mm. this is Wow. After walking around for a bit Cats. and getting a confusing first impression, we decided it was time to blend in with the haircut and some tracksuits. No, dude, all my worst haircuts were by <laughs> Russian speaking barbers. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, it looks nice. Cool. I'm not sure if getting a haircut in a Russian basement is a good idea or a great idea. Yeah, just like, a, like he has, you know? Like a. I have no idea if he understood. Is it good? Do you understand what I'm. I'm so excited! Look at that haircuts, motherfuckers. Now all we need is f***ing clothes. <laughs> no brand deals, unfortunately, from Adidas, but go uh, go get Seek Discomfort instead. Right. We definitely got ripped off. Apparently this is real, which I have a hard time believing. We ran into football players that apparently play for the team here that's playing Real Madrid tomorrow night. Which is insane. So, what? yes. They we discovered that the country that doesn't exist's football team, Sheriff Tiraspol, recently miraculously qualified in the Champions League where the best clubs in oh. Europe compete, becoming the lowest rated team to ever qualify. And by complete coincidence, we just happened to be there the night that they were playing it just Real like Madrid, one of the greatest most renowned sports teams in the world. And with the game being in Madrid, we arranged to watch it on a big screen in the city. But first, we wanted to get to know some locals. How are you? How are you? Where are you from? Are you from here? I don't know. Where are you? Where are you? From Tiraspol. You guys like living here? Yeah, yeah, great. Where are you? He's from France. No, you have to give it a little bit different style. He says our style is off. So this, this did not work. This did not work. <laughs> no more. Yeah, say goodbye. 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 Yeah. Peace, brother. Peace, brother. Uh, peace, brother. Goodbye. Peace, brother. <laughs> Have a good one. That's so cool. I want to visit it. This really is the last outpost of the Soviet Union. I mean, look at this. This is a functioning government building with a communist sign at the entrance. Wow. The amount of Soviet pride is bonkers, dude. That's just insane to me. Look never even coins. heard about it. It's like that. literally Monopoly money. I've never seen currency like this. It's, it's a money? Like plastic chips. What is the iClub? Is this like anyone who owns an iPhone here gets to be a part of a club? <laughs> <laughs> My friend! <laughs> Into Rasputin. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. The Soviet cafeteria. There's the Wow. Just wow. This is what a cafeteria is like. Yum yum. Yum yum. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen food like this. What is this? Bush. Borsche. Borsche. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> no, How come there's right. all this, or like, maybe can you talk a little bit about the decoration? Объясните тему ресторана, почему как бы советская тема. А потому что уже все за это забыли за Советский Союз. А здесь вот решили просто восстановить это, и это классно, мне нравится. Вот компоты мы варим, да, вот в этих вот кастрюлях, мы вот это наливаем. Этого уже нет. Вот. Yeah, so I think it's more of like an experiential thing than it is like. We want to bring communism back. It's more like, like the way she's talking about it. Sounds like it's more of like just the to keep tradition, the memory of like yeah. what they grew up with. I see why. We're walking into uh, one of the main markets. 
Здрасте. Look at the prices. Dude, I, a merchant just gave me this. What? And he just walked, I walked by and said hello, and he goes, he starts talking to me in Russian, and I'm like, and he's like, have this. Oh. He said, God will give him more. Oh. That's so sweet. I can't believe, I can't believe. Я сейчас приготовлю чай, и мы будем чайку попьем с вами вместе. Wait, 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 we're gonna drink some tea. She's closing her shop to go make tea for us. She brought some candies. Спасибо большое. Wow. Bring us apples and cookies. We didn't even, we just walked in here. It's like a Russian, such a Russian. Oh, she's like you're like my own sons. That's insane. That's so cool. She says you look like her son, Constantine. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. That's the sweetest thing I've ever seen. Ah, oh, that made me so sad and emotional. Yeah. Thank you, Elena. That was very sweet. After leaving the church, we started talking to an old woman in her stand who insisted on giving us free socks. No, what she doesn't size? have to give us free socks. He doesn't need it, he doesn't need it. She's saying no. No. Can we pay you? No. Are you sure? No. She's like, no. It's a present. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. This is your old house. We can look inside. У меня старая пианино есть, старая, с чем ты О, Это 17 -го года. 17-го. Вот старая пианино. Вау. А где вы теперь живете? Хотите, придите в гости. Сегодня ночью? Можете прийти и ночью. Было бы супер, мы бы очень хотели прийти. Ну, я вам оставлю сейчас еще один дом. Сенсей. Спасибо вам большое. Мы придем. She gave him the key. She at first was like very closed off and then like just Look opened at the up to us and showed us her her old home. They literally said like God sent us to her. <laughs> there's like a, a park here, a roller coaster park. Like, Wait, there's roller coasters in this park? Yeah, you see that right there. So when I was a kid in Moscow, there's this thing called Gorky Park, which is also like a little park area and then they have these like tiny little roller coasters. But these don't work, right? Dude. This looks like an abandoned amusement park. <laughs> dude, I hear stuff moving. Oh, dude, some of it is still working. This is so crazy. There's no way any of this is still safe. I mean, look at this rusty old thing. That one works? Yeah, it does. Can we do it? This guy is the guy in charge of the safety of this. Yeah. <laughs> Hopping on a roller coaster that is Half abandoned, I would not recommend it. Everything is so rusty. It is so rusty. I'm getting really nauseous. Oh my god. Dude, that is gigantic. Is he sure we're not gonna die? <laughs> yeah, sure. On this rusty little ride. Oh my god. Me, dude. Oh, I'm scared. Oh my god, this view is amazing though. I'm getting off. I don't care if she's not stopping. It's enough for a coaster for me today. I'm gonna go have a heart attack. You wanna take a shot? We're doing a vodka shot? Yeah. Yeah. Vodka shot? We're having a vodka shot? Yeah. These are the people guarding the bathroom. And now they're giving us some vodka from the bathroom. In this half abandoned amusement park. From church. From vodka. Wow. Maybe it's pee. Let's go. Bye, see you, bye. 
О, спасибо. Mm, очень хорошо. Спасибо. Спасибо. Wow, people, everyone here, people are so giving. Like people here make nothing in money. Like everyone tells us how hard it is to make money here. Yeah. People just give. This keeps happening when I when I travel to places that not many people go to and typically don't have don't people don't have a lot. They're the most giving. Like you go to New York City, people don't give you stuff at a market. They're like, pay me, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> you know, same in Paris. They're like, where's the money at? <laughs> you come to these places in the middle of nowhere, and people just like give, give, give. It's amazing. No part insane. of you was worried about what was in that cup. <laughs> they all came out to watch, and yeah. I was like, this in here. No, they would never do. Oh my god, that's so funny. We're now in the suburbs of Tiraspol. My grandma wrote her address on a piece of paper, told her to come at the end of the day, so I think we're here. Do we just try and open up the door? Anya! We doma! We've arrived at this very kind Babushka's backyard. Oh my god. Oh my god, she's so many. There's bunnies everywhere. She was gonna give us a, a bunny. <laughs> she said, we're gonna work. Oh, oh god, we have to work. Ah, it's just work. She says work. <laughs> Take it with you. She said that everyone who's left wants to come back here. And so she's asking us to come back here more often. Вам тут нравится, вам тут спокойно, удобно. Старость. Я 50 лет жила там, где вот вам показывала. Да. The stadium. It's around the corner. Yes, she lives right by the stadium. The famous Sharif football team that's playing Real Madrid tonight. So after this, we're going to go watch the game and this is where they play and train. I think in some ways being able to speak Russian again brings Eric back to his childhood in Russia. So it's uh, it's very sweet. Eric, are you getting adopted as a yeah. grandson? Yeah. This is my new grandma. Oh. She'll be sure. <laughs> She's like, I'll bring more. <laughs> this is like throwback to Chernobyl. <laughs> back to Chernobyl. <laughs> amounts of food. <laughs> she's teaching me Russian and giving me a. She saw me stretch for one second and she's like, I'll give you a massage. Aww, <laughs> it's a real grandma. So much, and then she's giving me a massage. Thank you very much. Thank you for everything. We got a new grandma. She said you found a grandma. Yeah. <laughs> After being adopted by our new local grandma, it was time for us to watch what would become a game that the whole world would talk about the next day as the local team accomplished the impossible. The next day, oh! It is time for us to leave, but as Eric befriended and got adopted by this grandma, she told us that she has a very tricky eye surgery that's gonna cost her about $750. She said some people here make about $150 per month in salary. So if that's true, getting $800 would take about five and a half months to make. And uh, we wanted Aww. to surprise her with it. She's probably not gonna take it, so. We're gonna have to strategize. Привет! Как вы? А я думала, вы уехали. Конечно, she said she thought we we left already. Oh my god. Это тебе. Oh my god. How sweet is that? Oh, she got us breakfast. This is 
crazy. I'm gonna cry. Нет, не покажем. Я хотел. Что хотел? Значит, мы решили. Что мы решили? Мы хотели вам помочь с операцией. Эти. Мы хотим тебе помочь с операцией, так мы принесли конверт к вам, вы вам дадите и все. Нет, мы уже решили, уже нельзя, надо сказать да. Уже все закончено. Все, берите. Потом. Прячьте и домой берите. Спасибо вам. Все, вам удачи, удачи. So happy. Спасибо. Звоните. Конечно. Call me. Ваши телефоны. А, write down the phone numbers. Он говорит, вы сказали, что Бог нас к вам принес, так, прислал, так мы хотим вам помочь. Я сейчас тоже молилась, где же вы так долго? Спасибо. Внук. Внук. Грандсон. He's crying. It's honestly hard to describe the magic that we felt carried by on this trip. We felt so welcomed by the kindness of the babushkas and the hopeful energy from many of those who still live there. And then, of course, for their local team to create one of the biggest upsets in sports history while we were in the country felt completely impossible to fathom. The economic opportunities in this country unfortunately seem very hard to find. Many live and survive in rough conditions, but numerous locals we met also seem to have been able to maintain a positive spirit to continue living their lives despite their tough circumstances. Finally, a local told us a tale elders share with their grandkids, that when God made earth and distributed the land to all its nations, when he got to Transnistria, he ran out of space. And so, he had to take a little piece of heaven and place it here instead. Now, I don't know where this quote comes from or the intention behind why it's shared. But if these people can look at their home in that way, I'd hope that all of us can start doing that about our own homes as well. Wow. We'll see you next week. What are you doing? You mean what, what are you doing? What time is it? It's what a, time is it? It's a... What do you do here? What is your job? I've been your assistant for two weeks. Then you know that at 9.05, I like to do what? Your phone, your uh, news. Yes. Sir. Yes, there sir, we go. Sorry. All I needed was Morning Brew because Morning Brew is actually the sponsor of today's video. Morning Brew is a free date. <laughs> oh my God, what we just watched. That's insane to me. I never even thought, like really never thought that something like that could exist and especially this is in Russia and I have, I'm such a wordless right now because I really don't know what to say it's such an amazing experience like my face like a little bit hurt from the smile like for the 22 minutes I was just smiling I hope it's gonna bring you smile and let me know what you think about it that's something crazy honestly guys I wanted to leave this video just for you but I can't. We have to share those type of videos with the world. So I'll think about <laughs> if to keep it our secret or not. Okay, so I love you all. I'll see you soon. And your favorite Russian. <laughs> okay, guys, I love you so much.